Hello, today for sample of the week, we're looking at some more bread and butter free samples, completely free, no strings attached. They work within the decent sampler and they're on piano book. All you gotta do is make an account to download it, uh, if you don't know that already, and then go over to decent sampler website, download the software there and stick it in your DAW of choice. Uh, today it is subtle clarinet, a soft, subtle clarinet sample with an ebb and a flow dynamic texture, which I absolutely love. It's that ebb and flow dynamic texture, which just brings it all together and just gives it that sense of realism. There's a couple of quirks with it, but that's simply because it's a, a lovely lady called Catherine Hiller who has just gone out and made her first ever sampled instrument. Uh, I don't know when this came out, it's probably been out for a while actually, uh, with nearly 2000 downloads, but absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the one thing I would ask for, Catherine, if you're out there and you've watched, you're watching this, can we please have a short version of this, a staccato. Um, absolutely love this patch, as we'll see when we get into it, but it would be really nice just to have a short version as well, because we just have our lungs. Uh, nothing wrong with that. And she did it with, I think, just a random microphone, an M Audio uh, Luna, uh, the only microphone she currently owns. And if you're out there watching this and you have a microphone lying around, I don't care what it is. The first sample instrument I ever made, I used a H6, a little recorder made by Zoom, just type it into Google if you don't know what it is, and I literally stuck it in the back of a piano, uh, up down the box of a felt piano, and I recorded um, just all the notes. And that's how my first sample instrument came to be, it's actually on Piano Book. Um, and if you don't know how to sample stuff or how to do that sort of thing, literally Piano Book has so many resources, literally resources, how to sample, click on that and create something. Honestly, it is well worth it. And if you're watching this and you've already created a sample instrument using Piano Book, put it down in the comments. I might check it out for sample of the week. So let's move on and actually look at this instrument she has done. Uh, she made it simply because of the mass demand of people wanting the sound of a clarinet as part of their project while she was at university. And you can get it with contact as well. Lots of really good reviews. Let's move on into a decent sampler and have a little play with this. So off the bat, we have a couple of different controls. We have volume, expression, uh, tone, which I believe it is just a little filter. Uh, reverb and release. Would have been nice to have an attack, I must admit, and what you'll see, you might see a little bit of latency when I hit the keys uh, and the actual sound. Some of the notes, the sample hasn't been quite placed on the dot, um, but if anything, adds a little bit of character, but something to note, especially if you're composing with velocity, you might have to shift them around a little bit. Um, What's nice is everything is actually uh, already CC'd, so the filter is down there, and the expression is your mod wheel. The expression's actually really good. I don't know if it's a layered sample, but I, I definitely really like how it's done. And then tone, you'll see is just a filter. We'll just play it how it is, how she intended, to, uh, intended it to be. Let's move that down and just have a go. And we'll leave it there for a second. I absolutely love this patch. It's so subtle. It's so much character, so much um, beauty in the notes. You can really get that woody, gritty sound that I, I love in the woodwinds and that you really want. She's captured it beautifully. The samples are gorgeous. There's no noise on them. 
and those ebbs and flows, you could really hear that woody sound, <laughs> that uh, air being blown through it. And what's nice is, well, I'm just holding two notes, and they have this beautiful loop, they have this beautiful uh, length to them. And that really reminds me, actually, of Spitfire's uh, drama toolkit, the woodwind you get in that. This, if I'm honest, the longs are a very similar level to some of the samples on there. And note, this is free. Um, I just love the way this sounds. It's subtle. There's not much um, velocity sensitivity to it. You really want to use the expression, but the samples in themselves do have this lovely envelope to them. If there's one thing I will have a niggle at is sometimes if you press the note a bit too quietly. It's not going to do it now. Um, it wasn't really sounding for me. There we go. That's one. I'm pressing a note. I can't hear anything. So there is a couple of little niggles with it, which come with somebody's first time creating a sampled instrument. And if I'm honest, it's free. There's nothing wrong with that. And as I said, the quality really does compare to some things in Spitfire's Drama Toolkit, uh, although it's just a singular long. Now we can mess with the filter as well. If you kind of want to bring it away, but if I'm honest, this whole sample library, if you want to call it that, just gives me this almost haunted, lost sort of sound to it that is full of character and is drop dead gorgeous and definitely something you should add to your inventory and definitely something you can do a melody with as I showed you when we started playing. So download it, mess around, uh, definitely check this person out. She only has one sampled instrument, but as I said, if you're watching this, please make a short would absolutely love that. It would really add to the collection. So that's everything. We're going to leave it there. Check out uh, Subtle Clarinet by Catherine Hiller. Uh, gorgeous sample. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.